Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Mahesh Kotamangalam, a compassionate and dedicated industrial engineer and prominent bank executive, invested his all in producing Slice of Life, the future of food documentary, to inform viewers that a plant-based diet is the key to solve the climate crisis, pandemics and societal woes. Supreme Master Ching Hai enthusiastically present Mr. Mahesh Katamangalam, director and producer of Slice of Life, the future of food documentary, the Shining World Compassion Award, with $10,000 as a token of loving support for your noble work, with all encouragement, love, respect, and best wishes for your continued success. May heaven forever bestow blessings on your compassionate heart and protect you always. Please continue watching to find out more. It is wonderful to welcome you, attentive viewers. I'm Nicholas. The Republic of Bashkortostan's people thank you and countless others who choose the vegan diet, thus paving the way for our blissful planet to be restored to its natural beauty and glory for all of us humans and animals alike. Wise viewers, Today, we continue with the second and concluding part of our show, entitled Slice of Life, the Future of Food Documentary, Engineering a New Vegan Earth Through Film. We are excited to step with you into an era of unprecedented peace, prosperity, and progress that we can envision when viewing this amazing work. Last week, we introduced Mr. Mahesh Katmangala, who wrote produced, directed, and performed all the cinematography for this 2019 release. In order to create a strong appeal and reach out to as wide an audience as possible, Mahesh set out to interview vegan advocates from as many diverse backgrounds as he could find, crossing borders of ethnicity, professions, and countries in the filming process. With his meticulous professional training in advanced systems approach, coupled with his astute engineering mind, he was able to condense the vast amounts of information and opinions on the topic into this persuasive and emotionally powerful film. The result was a collaboration of wisdom and advice shared by many leaders in the field regarding the full task ahead for humanity. And I wasn't a doctor, but you know what? I was a cop. I knew how to do investigations. I knew how to seek out facts. I knew how to compare analysis and come to conclusions based on the information, not based on my opinion. And the facts were very clear that um, I was sick because of what I ate. I read a book called Diet for a Small Planet, in which Francis Moore LePay makes the fairly basic point that raising crops to cycle them through animals so that we can eat animals is an extraordinarily inefficient way of creating food. I knew it was wrong. I knew that that would not evolve me in the future, that that would not bring me to longevity, that that would not sit right, that that would be a form of disease. Nine billion people, which is what we're going to be by 2050, can't eat uh, hundreds of billions of animals. There is no way this planet can sustain it. Mahesh's documentary starts off with discussing various problems associated with animal raising, but then gets right into the solutions. His intent is to focus on ways to create a future through an element that serves a common denominator to us all, food, as in the food we ingest and the food we produce. The roster of interviewees features a diversity of voices, such as social media influencers, medical doctors, and champions of the plant-based food technology movement. If you can make a very powerful change, if you say, I'm going to define meat mentally, I'm going to think about meat in terms of its composition, not where it came from, but its composition. So meat is essentially five things. It's amino acids, it's lipids, it's an incredibly small amount of carbohydrates, it's trace minerals, and it's predominantly water. All those things are available outside of animals. 
So if I can present those five things to you, and I can present them in the architecture of, of muscle or meat, who's to say that's not meat? I've been told that you have a, a disease that can't go away. And even with medications, it couldn't go away. But you make some changes in your diet and lifestyle, and that disease is, is gone for you. I don't think veganism is a fad at all. As a matter of fact, I think eating meat has been a fad. I believe veganism will be the takeover. At the end of the day, everything is about education, and, and we as a society are becoming more educated about not only the benefits of a plant-based lifestyle, but the damages that can be caused by a non-plant-based lifestyle, not only to our health, but also to the environment, to the animals. I strongly believe that a whole foods plant-based diet is possibly the most powerful strategy we have available in the medical system nowadays. The people are saying, wait, I don't want to have this disease, so I better start eating healthy. And that's a major cultural shift. I believe that this change of thinking is actually going to save humanity. We are going to take a quick pause to send our heartfelt appreciation to these brave and dedicated people who commit to the vegan cause. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Considerate and caring viewers, welcome back to our show. Following our first interview, Mahesh generously reconnected with Supreme Master Television by phone, where he shared more of his knowledge with us. He notes that due to increased demand, innovative plant-based agribusiness and food production companies are bringing sustainable solutions to feed the planet. As such, he points out that the power of change really can lie in an individual's hands. I think consumer demand is what is causing companies to take a look at those and say, okay, I need to change my menu because people are eating differently today. They're more aware of what goes into their food, so they're asking for a change, and that's where these big companies and corporations are coming in and saying, you know what, we want to at least introduce one vegan item on the menu to see how that does. And when they see the demand go up because of that one menu item, that's where the change will start being happening. Further documentary screenings were planned in New York, London, and many other cities. But then, the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020 put them on hold. Mahesh discussed how the coronavirus spread has made individuals reevaluate their food sources. It took a pandemic for people to realize that food is extremely important. What they put in their bodies is extremely important. Because uh, if you saw the cases that are happening in all the meat processing plants slash slaughterhouses, where uh, employees were so closely standing next to each other packing meat, mm -hmm. uh, they're all falling sick with COVID-19. So that kind of triggered, um, I think, a lot of thoughts in people watching the news, thinking about, okay, so the entire pandemic started from eating animals in some part of the world, and now it's also causing a human uh, epidemic in terms of how many people are falling sick and how many people are dying. I think people are looking for alternatives, at least when it comes to meat. For decades, with her great foresight, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been tirelessly informing, advising, and alerting of the extreme risks and dangers unfolding from animal exploitation, as exemplified by an interview in 2009 with Irish journalist and author Dr. Ben Murnane. The health experts and the people who study viruses uh, informed us that uh, there is a grave concern. Namely, this uh, pandemic could become more and more dangerous if the virus mutates further. According to Laurie Garrett, Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist and senior fellow of uh, Global Health at the Council on Foreign Relations, the swine flu virus has been evolving for many years through its uh, origin in North uh, American factory farm environments. And in these extremely unhygienic settings, the different viruses from the animals uh, easily mix with one another to create new, more lethal flu viruses. You remember in 1918, 
the flu pandemic cost the lives of 100 million people. Yeah? Incredible. So if we don't stop the mass animal rising industry, then, as Mrs. Garrett said, this factory farms unnatural industry will one day spawn a severe pandemic that will dwarf that of 1918. It's very worrying. Very, love, very, Ben. You see, swine flu is just one of the many examples of how the meat production industry is threatening human health and further highlights the benefits to be gained from the organic vegan diet. I am hopeful still that people turn to vegan diet, you know, organic vegan diet, first to save themselves, second to save the planet. And if anybody has a loving concern heart at all, please, is humane to the animals. We are deeply grateful that Supreme Master Ching Hai has labored on behalf of humanity for so long and we appreciate all those benevolent humans who joined the campaign for a vegan world to embrace our loving nature in every aspect of life. Mahesh echoes this message with his own thoughts of hope. I think, I think the message is that for all of us to live in a much kinder, compassionate world. So it's important to just treat one another with respect and kindness so we can all you know, leave behind a better world for the next generation. With its compelling facts, inspiring interviews, and compassionate plea, we could not agree more that indeed anyone viewing this documentary will be influenced to adopt a life-saving, sustainable, and peaceful plant-based diet. We offer our deep gratitude to Mr. Mahesh Katmangala for the work he has done on behalf of all beings on Earth. Hello, this is Mahesh Gautamangalam, director and producer of Slice of Life, the future of food documentary, and you're watching Supreme Master Television. Supreme Master Ching Hai enthusiastically present Mr. Mahesh Katmangala, director and producer of Slice of Life, the future of food documentary, the Shining World Compassion Award, with 10,000 US dollars as a token of loving support for your noble work with all encouragement, love, respect, and best wishes for your continued success. May heaven forever bestow blessings on your compassionate heart and protect you always. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy, and for any good cause over the years. As a humble vessel for years, compassion and love towards years, precious children. For more information on Slice of Life, the future of food documentary, please visit facebook.com forward slash slice of life documentary. Informed viewers, thank you for your company today. Coming up next is Earth Tour Bodhisattva Sutra, the entrustment of people and gods, part 404 on Between Master and Disciples, right after Northworthy News. May the providence bless us all to be the building blocks of this ideal future, a vegan world. A world of peace, joy, abundance, and bliss for all living beings that we envision in our hearts and minds. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique VEG. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com bar inclinada VEG. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan schedule dan suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan batch.